Hello everyone, this is me, Leila, once again, coming to you with information about keto sticks. Have you been using keto sticks since you started your ketogenic diet to see if you're in ketosis? I have. What happens with the keto sticks is that once you become keto adapted and you're rolling in your ketosis, the indicator, the amount of ketones you'll be secreting will be less and less. So this is the amount that I was secreting at the beginning. My keto sticks were giving me this, and now they're giving me this. So I went from 160 milligrams per deciliter to 40 milligrams per deciliter. Why is that? I was actually curious, and I bought some books, did some research, and looked online. You know, science is not exact. You know, uh, we've existed for millions of years on this planet, and we're still are, uh, alive, and we're not extinct. Not because of science, um, because of uh, knowledge um, uh, given down from uh, ancestry, from uh, our grandparents to our parents to us, you know, generation after generation of wisdom. Uh, that's the only thing I trust 100%. When my grandma says, eat this leaf, it will heal this disease, I trust her. When science says that, I will have, I have to do another type of research to see who released that study, who paid for the study, and uh, you know, they told us that cholesterol is uh, bad for us, and they told us that fat is terrible, stay away from fat, and it's completely the opposite. If you have been in ketosis, and you, are, you know what the ketogenic diet is about, you will realize that fat is the most wonderful thing you can eat, good fat and um, that it literally feeds your body better than anything out there, better than protein and better than carbohydrates. Back to the subject of science. So this is a scientific explanation about why your keto sticks will not indicate the high level of ketones like at the beginning of your ketogenic diet. So ket ketosis means you're secreting ketones and using ketones for your energy. Uh, science says, science says, <laughs> that there are three types of ketones secreted in the urine. Uh, Beta-hydroxybutyrate, what a fancy name, uh, acetoacetate and acetate. What the keto sticks test for is only the acetoacetate. So the level of acetoacetate will go down as you become more keto adapted. Why? Because science says it's used, your muscles uh, start converting, they take the acetoacetate and convert it into beta hydroxybutyrate and use it because for some reason the body prefers to use beta hydroxybutyrate than acetoacetate. This is a simple, um, you know, um, a brief explanation of what I read. They go into a lot more um, detailed explanation and a lot of enigmas and question marks are within those books that I read. They don't know how to explain everything. All that I can tell you is, I know when I'm in ketosis, I can feel it. I keep all my carbs uh, under 30, 40 grams right now. I'm two months into ketosis, into the ketogenic diet, and I keep it as green, uh, leafy greens only. I don't do any refined sugars, any the old carbs that I used to do. Uh, and I'm very happy, I feel good. The day that I eat too many veggies or something like that, especially during the holiday season, I could feel it, but when I'm in ketosis, right now I am totally in ketosis, I can feel it. And uh, if you learn to listen to your body, you will feel uh, when you are keto adapted. Also, I recommend uh, something that helped me a lot was uh, downloading an app by the name MyFitnessPal because I didn't know what contained what, how many carbs are in this one, how many carbs are in that. So what I did, I got the MyFitnessPal um, uh, application and I adjusted the parameters and their goals and uh, I put, I want 5% carbs, 15% protein and the rest um, I think 80% fat, so that helped me stay on track and learn how to measure my food day after day, day in, day out. And then eventually I don't use it anymore because I know what I'm eating. I'm probably staying under 20 grams of carbs a day, uh, but I have the ability to go to 30 and 40 grams and I'll be fine, I'll be still in ketosis. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you will subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm putting videos every week giving updates about my uh, ketogenic diet. I'm also giving health um, advice and things like that. Thank you for watching.